How's it going, guys? This is Vaughn, and we are back in, you guessed it, American Truck Simulator. <laughs> and, uh, man, we got a cool one today. Uh, we're in our Western Star 49X day cab, and uh, behind us we've got the Tem Temes Temesco. Man, I feel like I'm butchering that. Temesco Belly Van Trailer. This is a trailer from Half Fast Gaming. Uh, if you're a supporter for them on Patreon, you'll have access to this trailer. Uh, it's pretty basic as far as the configuration and everything goes, but... Uh, there's some cool options you get for it. Um, we have the cool little logo on there. That's pretty cool. The ladder leading up to the top of there. Connectors look pretty cool. Um, and you do have some options with this door. We went with the painted option, but there's some chrome options as well. And then uh, for the marker lights on the sides, we went with just exclusive options. So it, it uh, put it, its own lights on there. But it does have an option for uh, light slots if you want to use your own lights. Uh, and uh, same thing with the bumper lights, We with the rear lights. We did that um, with the, those are FLX 359 uh, brake lights on there that you, that you see there. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple, uh, not much to it. Nice mud flaps as well. So that's that, that's what we're pulling today. We're already loaded up. Uh, we've got some used packaging in here. We're taking it up to Yuma, Arizona. Uh, from the tractor supply company location that we are at currently up to a Swift location. So that's what we're doing today, and we are hopefully going to see some of the better Arizona map because uh, our route is going to take us up through... I probably should have said where we're at. We're at Sonoita, Mexico. Uh, it's at, uh, I think we're at the border of the um, Mexican state of Sonora. So we're going to be... Yeah, we're starting here in Sonoita. This is our pickup spot. And we'll be driving up through, looks like Ajo, uh, Gia Bend a little bit, and then straight down to Yuma. So it's about a six and a half hour drive, they estimate, up there, uh, just shy of 300 miles. So that is that, should be fun. Um, I've mentioned the Better Arizona Map mod already on this channel, but I can't recommend it enough. You get some awesome uh, locations to drive through. Um, Let's see. One of the ones that I've done that I really liked was uh oh, where was it? Got to find it here. Um there is oh, Casa Grande is one, but uh let's see. Quartzsite is another one, I believe. Yes, oh, Goodyear. That's another cool little section right here that you don't get. You can see I drove through there before. Um I don't believe this is part of uh the the base game. I believe. Yeah, because I drove through here and it looked really different from the rest. So, yeah. Anyways, enough blabbing about that. We do have plenty of blabbing to do for the rest of the video. So well, let's go ahead and get on our way. We're driving a C15 from Z Mods, uh, so you'll hear it start up right now. All right, get inside, and uh, we'll get rolling on here. I like the big screen. Big screen GPS, it's pretty nice. Get ready to turn right. All right. Turn right. We are turning right. I'll definitely be, uh, Interested in hearing any uh, opinions about the trailer if any of you guys have it and or drive it That would be cool to know I think our speed limit is 25 through here And this is part of Reforma, of course. And this part of Mexico that we're driving through. Some nice little towns you can get uh, some scenery of through here. Um, and you'll see this uh, Sonoita, maybe, um, little, kind of like a, a sculpture or monument. I'm not really sure what the correct word would be, but uh, 
Let's see. Whoa. Hope they're not sticking out. It took me a little bit longer to stop there. Alright, Mr. Kenworth's going by. Uh, I think we're okay. I don't know if you're going to see it. It might be behind us, I'm not sure. But there's a cool little monument uh, that spells out the words uh, Sonoi or the word Sonoita. Sonoita. Uh, yeah, it's probably... Yeah, probably on the other side. We'll catch it next time, probably. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Should have been in this lane, actually. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> There's a uh, little monument there. That's super, that's super cool. I don't know if you could see all the detail in it uh, as we drove by, but that's awesome. Higher set of gears. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well. I uh, do want to address a few things while we're here. While I got you, uh, first of all, some amazing news was we surpassed a hundred subscribers uh, since man, uh, probably three or four months ago is when I started putting out uh, content. So. That is an exciting moment for me. I was just looking forward to that. I <laughs> uh, didn't know how long it would take. I really didn't really... Ah, I really didn't expect... Uh, or I guess I should say I didn't know what to expect as far as like... Uh, what the engagement, outreach, and all of that was going to be like with um, my ATS content. Uh, so all of that is still pretty exciting for me. I'm doing a lot of this for the first time. Uh, definitely by no means my first time wanting to do something like that. Um, especially live streaming. I've done the live streams before um, over on Twitch before I moved over to YouTube streaming. And uh, yeah, I've been wanting to do a, a channel with some Let's Plays and stuff for a while, but you know, uh, just stuff getting in the way and you know how that goes okay we're just gonna try to drive straight through here oh we do gotta we do gotta stop up here it looks like all traffic yeah we gotta do our documents through here <laughs> so they can make sure that we are legal Welcome to the United States. Please provide your proper documents. Will do. We want to comply by all means. Awesome. Welcome. Big bumps. Glad that went well. Never want to run into issues at the, uh, the border. That's bad news. All right. So already we're greeted with some nice, uh, desert scenery here. Gotta love that. And man, there's no shortage of, uh, good scenery through, uh, through Arizona. That's for darn sure. So anyways, uh, getting back to my uh, little tangent there, um, I just want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody that uh, has uh, subscribed within the last 
four months that I've been on uh, the YouTube platform, all the people that have joined me on the, uh, the live streams, all the ones that uh, take time out of their day to leave comments, leave likes on the videos, because all of that helps. All of that helps with the trajectory of views as your you know, content gets uh, put out there and recommended. And man, I cannot, I cannot give enough kudos to YouTube for their, uh, their algorithm, the way that it works and the way that it recommends stuff. And of course you gotta, you gotta know how to kind of like, uh, how to tailor everything with your videos to make sure that they get pushed out the way you want them to. So like, I know that, uh, you know, for a small channel, just starting out, you know, just now putting, or, you know, just starting to put out content, you got to be super descriptive so that YouTube knows what to do with your content. Um, so I try to do that as much as possible. I try to put, you know, the uh, American Truck Simulator tag in there and other tags as far as like some of my gear and stuff and uh, no vague descriptions, definitely no empty descriptions. Uh, as much information in there as possible, but not to where it's obnoxious, you know. Uh, so all of that, I think, also helps, but I cannot give enough credit to the, uh, the audience, uh, you guys. So thank you so much for propelling my channel past 100 subscribers in such a short time. I feel like it's a short time. Um, it's one of the things that I appreciate a lot about YouTube in comparison to, or contrast to Twitch. Uh, just seems like Twitch is a little, I don't know, you get, you get kind of lost amongst all of the other content that's being put out there. And, and of course, YouTube is, you know, started off as like a, uh, video, video platform, uh, where you, you know, okay, okay, you're doing that to us, huh? Gee whiz. Man, way to ruin a good mood, huh? Yeah, he's gonna cut right in front of us with feet of clearance and then slow us down. Okay, dude. Man. I don't know who pissed in your cereal, but... Doesn't mean you gotta ruin mine. Anyways. Before I was rudely interrupted. Um... Yeah, I, I just... I am so stoked about... Um, this, just the, all the support that I've gotten the last few months and, um, just everybody being so awesome, um, showing their support for, um, you know, coming back to the channel and checking out the uh, other videos that I put out, uh, tuning into the live streams and, uh, everything guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we've, we've not only passed the hundred mark, but we're up to, I think 114 or 15 by now. And I mean that is incredible. Um, yeah, I, I'm almost <laughs> at a loss for words. So thank you, everybody. I really appreciate that. Uh, I I say in every video, and I mean it genuinely. I appreciate all the love and support, as always. So please keep doing what you do best, and uh, keep supporting the channel if you'd like what you see if you don't like what you see please let me know that way i'll make something you would like to see um you know i'm always open to feedback and everything i, I don't mention that every video but it still stands uh you know i love engaging with people i love hearing feedback i love knowing what can i do better what what other other stuff is is going on out there that i may not be aware of that i could probably cover in a video all of that helps. All of that keeps it fresh and exciting for me and also makes me feel good because I know I'm giving you stuff that you want to actually see and uh, that you, that'll make you come back. So, uh, again, I mean, huge thank you to everybody. I appreciate that so much. Um, also cannot give enough credit to all the, uh, the guys over in Hell Creek uh, Truck and everybody that also supports... Um, now, really, they support everybody. Everybody that has their own ways of contributing to the community with with content, with, whether it be mods or uh, skins or stuff like this, let's plays. Um, so thank you to everybody over in Hell Creek Trucking as well that's done their part to support my uh, content and um, also tuning into the live streams and leaving comments and likes and uh, 
helping to keep me inspired and keep wanting to keep going um all of that is incredible as well so thank you guys especially the guys that uh, put up with me <laughs> in our vtc and in our convoys and all those fun times we have um yeah all of that's good stuff good guys um it's not an exaggeration that this is definitely the best community ever so um i yeah i just have nothing but appreciation for everybody that's uh done their part to support me and everything and uh hope, hopefully i can keep it going for as long as possible um and then some other exciting news as far as uh you know on the subject of the channel um i'm not exactly sure as to a time point as to when or how you when you can expect it but i will also be trying to do some other content uh not just ats and ats 2 but uh really like trying to make this kind of like a driving games niche kind of channel uh so maybe some you know some forza some a set of corsa uh some grid possibly i don't know i'm kind of thinking of testing it out and seeing how the response is for that other stuff because i know up till now um i've been focusing on ats and ets but i would love to make it kind of like a little bit more broad that way it's a little bit more inclusive of more people um that are into other stuff like a set of corsa and everything and uh if you know anything about me i love mods i love mods in, in any game i play <laughs> so you can bet that we're gonna have a set of corsa mods and uh you know whatever else we can do to the other games um i've been having some fun playing uh, a set of corsa again because uh, it's it's been a minute it's been a hot minute since i played that game so i had to, to re-download a lot of stuff how to re-download the uh you know content manager custom shaders patch all that stuff um and then i also um tried out this uh graphics uh mod called pure um and the name of the name of the developer escapes me but he's on patreon as well if you support him you'll get access to his mod uh, so I've been uh, kind of playing around with that and just seeing how everything looks, doing some races and downloading some modded cars and tracks and all that stuff. So I can't wait to share that with y'all. And um, I kind of my rule of content with this channel is just to do whatever I like. Um, and hopefully I can engage with some of you guys that way I can kind of kind of do like a little bit of a give and take i'll i i do you know i put out the content that i want to do and you know if it's if you guys enjoy it and you have stuff that you want to see regarding that um then you know i'll i'll add on to that uh the stuff that you guys want to see oh what happened there sorry about that accidentally hit the switch I notice I tend to do that subconsciously, I'm not sure why. Bad habit though. Alright, we're getting on here, hopefully nobody jumps in. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking of doing some Forza and some Assetto Corsa. And then exit right. Um, maybe some other stuff too. We'll see what, uh, how that goes, what everybody wants to see. Exit right. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. <laughs> Just to add some some uh, variety, you know. Turn left. I think it, I think it could be fun. So uh, let's see how we're looking. All right, go ahead, Mr. Kenworth. Ashley Furniture. Uh, we're good there and good there. So we'll get going. Or it's gear bend. Get ready to turn left. Hope I'm saying that right. Scott Sven, if you're watching, please feel free to correct me. Turn left.
Awesome. Uh, let's see, what other exciting news have we got? Uh, I've made a couple of upgrades as well to my setup. Uh, maybe at some point I'll put a picture up on my little uh, community wall or the channel. Um, got a shifter extension for my uh, 18 speed uh, switch shifter, whatever you call it. Um, so the extension came from ATSAccessories.com. Um, they took about, I think, a week and a half or two weeks to receive it. So got it in pretty good time. And uh, it is a 12-inch uh, extension, so it adds a little bit more realism <laughs> there to the, uh, the truck sim setup. So I've been loving driving with this thing. Uh, it's really good quality, and uh, it's, honestly, it's made everything more secure because my, um, whatchamacallit, the extension for the, not the extension, sorry, the, the shifter, uh, the 18-speed converted shifter, um, the screws on it aren't the best, so where it sits on the, the Logitech G4 shifter, uh, it was not very secure. And you might have seen me do that in the stream uh, multiple times. <laughs> I would have to reach over and be tightening that screw so it's not uh, coming too loose when I'm trying to shift. Uh, but with the extension, um, I screwed the extension... Um, onto the uh, the shifter itself and then tighten the side screws on there and it sits secure now so it feels amazing I don't have to worry about that that annoying uh, what do you call it in that annoying where it's, it doesn't sit securely and I'm constantly having to readjust it so that's been awesome and then the other cool thing uh, which is probably the most I guess extravagant thing is uh, I've also added a 55-inch uh, TV to my setup, so that's in that's interesting. So right now I'm playing the game on the uh, on the the big screen. Um, I pretty much have to keep it set as my main monitor. That way the game will open on there because there's no option within the game settings to choose which monitor you want it to to, to go to. Unfortunately. Um, because I would rather not have the TV as the main screen, but you know, I kind of just leave it. Um, if at any point I get tired of it, I'll just, you know, shut off the TV and switch back to the uh, my 27-inch monitor that's right in front of me uh, to being the primary. Uh, so it's been pretty pretty cool. Uh, it's, the TV does go up to 60 hertz, so that is the, you know, the pretty much where I want the game to run anyway, because for the recordings and the stream, it caps out at 60. Uh, so... It's been cool, and man, is it fun! <laughs> it's fun to, to see uh, the game on the big old screen. I, I know that I, if I went back to the 27 inch, it would just be, uh, it would, it would just, it'd be weird. I'd have to sit super close to it or pull it closer to me. But this way, I can also push the monitor, the 27 inch, back a little bit and gain some computer space or desk space rather. So, if you happen to see it come up on my community wall, you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's been pretty pretty cool. Pretty fun. Um, and then we'll be adding some more to the collection of uh, trucks and trailers uh, mods and stuff. Uh, so we've got uh, the new Benson trailer that came out from Brian Modmaker. We'll be checking that one out soon. Um, and then we're checking out the, uh, of course, the trailer uh, today with uh, from Half Fast Gaming. He's got another trailer out as well that is a flat, uh, yeah, flatbed, and you can there's a, a curtained option on it as well. So we'll check that out. Maybe I'll do a, I'll start the video from the shop where we're building it out so you can see it. Um, so that's some fun stuff coming out as well. We'll be doing that. And as I mentioned, you'll probably be also seeing some Assetto Corsa, Forza stuff or, uh, pop up on there every now and then. Um, I'm probably not going to be doing it as regularly as my ATS stuff. Um, so, just be on the lookout, and hopefully you guys dig it. Um, 
And then speaking of uploading videos, uh, I do want to also, you know, on the back end of thanking everybody for their support, uh, apologize for not uh, uploading the past few days. It, it has been super, super hectic. Uh, I've essentially gone back to my hybrid work schedule where I'm uh, working at home three days a week and then two days in the office. So normally when I record, I will either record on my lunch break or um, I'll get up a little early and do it um, before I start work. However, <laughs> now that uh, going into the office has returned to my routine, uh, pretty much the two days that I go into the office, um, I have to get up way earlier than even when I'm working from home and I get up to do a recording. Um, and then, of course, when, I'm, when I get home, all the stuff that uh, I normally get to do during my lunch break, you know, house chores or whatever, get pushed to after work and then usually by the end of the day I'm <laughs> exhausted so the days that I don't work from home when I go into the office uh, it's a lot harder to record I'm not saying that you won't get any content anymore but it is definitely much more challenging to have that time to set aside so I know that that's going to factor into the consistency of videos, which I wish that it wasn't uh, that way, but, you know, I, I have this channel as a, uh, a side hustle, if you will. Um, I'm not out to make a, any business off of it. Um, if it if it does have... Yeah, you know, I wouldn't even really call it a side hustle. I just call it a hobby. So, it's not even really a side hustle, because I'm not expecting, you know, to get paid or anything out of this it's just because I like to do it um, so yeah it's kind of like obviously it's important but it's not as important as if I was like a large youtuber and it was my uh, like a you know significant part of my livelihood so yeah I I will leave it at this I will upload as often as I possibly can uh, considering my circumstances, I know that uh, it's not going to be ideal and I'm not going to be as consistent as I'd like to be, or maybe even as I once was before, but uh, nevertheless, I will still be as active as possible. I'm still active uh, in the Discord server servers that we're in and uh, the Convoy servers, so you'll be seeing no shortage of content with that. Uh, that is just where things stand right now. Uh, so. Again, I my sincerest apologies for the lack of content in the last few days, and uh, and of course no notice being put out as to why. But uh, there's there is the reason. <laughs> um, so yeah, I yeah, it's not nothing. It's nothing that I feel feel good about, obviously, because I you know I I'm, I'm all about consistency and. Uh, I think it kind of proves to the community how serious and dedicated you are when you upload as consistently as possible. Right. And then exit right. Um, and that you always want to have stuff that people can watch. Exit right. Because, uh, you know, there's only so, so many times that your stuff can be replayed or, or whatever. So, yeah. Get ready to turn left. Get over in this lane. Since we's going left. left. Yeah, so it's nothing to nothing to feel good about. Nothing I'm proud about as far as the break and the like. The you know de decrease in consistency, but it is what it is. I accept it and uh, just. You know, so everybody, all of you watching, know that I'm going to do the very best I can. Uh, and that's kind of also where, you know, my reasoning comes into wanting to put out more types of content. You know, more games and uh, just having something fresh, you know. So it's not too much of the same stuff over and over. I'm going to jump that curb a little bit. But anyways, that's my tangent about that. 
thank you for understanding and uh, everybody for continuing to support everything. Uh, definitely also some cool stuff coming out from um, the guys over in the uh, ATS expansion discord. Um, I've noticed some new content coming out for ATS expansion. I know the guys are doing some work on that, so that's going to be awesome. Hopefully around the corner, ATS expansion 7.5. Uh, 7.4 is what is out now. That's the latest. So. Good stuff there, and hopefully uh, some uh, more more content coming out with that. Definitely check out the, the streams over on the uh, ATS Expansion YouTube channel from Recon Lobster. I always link to it in my videos. <sighs> Gotta turn my head quite a bit. Continue we'll probably also have to touch on at some point. Because <laughs> um, it's just, right. it's inevitable. The, uh bit of drama going on with the uh, current state of ATS mods. Um, that's a that's a hurdle for another day, but uh, okay, we're cl oh no, we're not clear on that side. That is if they are going straight. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, they're stopped, so yeah, we'll go ahead and go. Yeah, we've got a green light anyway, so Yeah, that situation's always been a little bit weird, but Keep right. and then turn right. as far as like the uh, the mods go, um, you know, turn right. it's it's not a perfect scenario. People, you know, not getting their money's worth out of Get ready to turn the work left. that they put into these mods and everything. Um, turn left. You know, I just try to show my support as best as I can, and. Uh, Wherever I feel like it may not be worth uh, the money to, you know, invest in, into it, then I just Keep refrain. Left. And then turn left. That's my prerogative. I think everybody's entitled to their own prerogative. Turn left. So, but, uh, you have arrived yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> like I said, that's, that's something for another day. Man, they just happened to, is that a, that's, that same yard truck is always there, man. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be fun. They always, they always do us like that. They always put something right in our way to make it as hard on us as possible. So that's lovely. Let's get our four ways on, and uh, we will give ourselves enough space. I'm thinking we can probably overshoot it. You know, come out more on the left so we don't hit that um, yard truck, and then. Yeah, overshoot it probably and then straighten it out uh, after that. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's a little tricky to tell with these uh, mirrors, though, where everything's at. Uh, I want to say that we're okay to start turning it kind of sharp here. I hope, I hope. Yeah, so let's just, let's just keep going and see where this gets us. Hopefully we overshoot it and don't make a mistake. And uh, we're fine here. We're not going to hit anything. Oof, I think we did hit something actually. 
could we have hit? Could it be the wall? I'm not sure. I don't want to go too tight here. Let's go sharper. Oh. Okay, so we're hitting something. Not sure what. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's so hard to tell. Oh, are we shaking? Shouldn't be the curb, right? Doing this like that. Hmm. Let's, get, let's just keep straightening it out. Man, okay, we keep hitting the same thing. What's going on? Let me turn myself like this. We can't see anything out of those mirrors. Hmm. Could it be the truck we're hitting? Let's just take a look outside real briefly. Couldn't find my mouse though. There it is. Oh, yep, we were definitely hitting that truck. Okay, well, let's fix that. We did not wait long enough to make sure we passed it. That's for darn sure. about now so hard to tell the distance with these <laughs> these mirrors man but they did not make it easy on us dude I think we're looking better now though Let's keep it sharp Now we can start straightening. Uh, let's see, yeah. Okay, don't want to hit that guy. Bring it around like this. I think we're clear, yeah. It looks like we'll be a little bit over the line on this left side, so. Possibly. Oh, no, actually not. We just need to come out more left. Yeah. Durable axle is actually helping a lot on the trailer. Just need to get this dialed in more. Ugh, it's hard to tell that we're clear of that truck. Let's keep going more left. How about that? It's like we're still a little tight on that truck, but I think we're clear. I think, I think, I think we're clear of it. Okay. Man, that's a tough one, man. Okay, we got it. Let's put our brake on and let's see how we did. Okay. I think that's safe enough because that way we're, we're clear of that truck. Um... We're not 100% straight, but I mean, I don't want to be like right up against the truck, the yard truck. So they're happy with that. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave that as is. All right. Uh, even though we did sustain some, some damage on the yard truck before, but I mean, we didn't go, we weren't going fast. And then we, of course we had our bumper to kind of shield us a little bit from any damage. 
All right. We took a little bit longer than expected, but we did drive pretty slow. Um, and, uh, you know, we had a lot to gab about anyway. So I had fun on this one. This was uh, Sonoita to Yuma. So that's Mexico to Arizona. A little bit less than 300 miles. Took us seven hours, 45 minutes, 40 gallons, basically. And uh, we got an excellent on that job. So that was um, that was fun. I enjoyed that one. Want to do some more better Arizona drives and uh, reform in Mexico as well. So anyways, thanks for joining me on this one. Thank you for joining me on the channel, uh, as always, <laughs> to the live streams, to the uploaded videos. And uh, thank you for the support, the love, and the interaction um, that uh, you guys have been uh, providing. Uh, I promise I won't be as wordy in the next video, but I just wanted to acknowledge everything and also apologize for my absence the last few days. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to working on that consistency. So thank you guys again. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe. If you enjoyed this content, please let me know what I can do to make it better. Uh, if you'd like, please uh, also leave a like on the video while you're at it. Uh, I appreciate all of the love and support as always. We will catch you guys in the next one and have a great one.